Hello, Internet! I'm Hamster Bomb, and as the title implies, I have good news and bad news. Well, I um, guess we should get to the uh, good news first, because it's, it's a lot quicker and shorter than the bad news. There's a lot more bad news than good news right now. Um, but uh, good news, I finally have a job that I'm going to be uh, able to go to that's more reliable than what I've been uh, doing before. If you guys didn't know, I am, like, I guess technically part-time a teacher at a local university, and um, there's, uh, I guess to put it as quick as possible, there's not enough students coming in to give me the uh, classes that I've been doing before. And uh, they can't be offered anymore just because there's not enough students coming in, which stinks. Because I love teaching, I'd love to keep doing it, I just can't. It also pays very little. Like, for the amount of time and work that goes into it, I might as well be flipping burgers. It's, it's horrible for pay, but still, I enjoy doing it, and that's... What they say is all that mattered, but when it comes to paying for a house and eating... It matters so um, that always stunk so on the side I also did uh, video contract work with a company who um, I used to work with uh, technically part-time um, and the thing is eventually they uh, decided they were gonna have me work by contract instead of working in-house which ended up costing them more money way more time and they switched in got new management and um, all of a sudden my computer did that I'm sorry I couldn't have stopped it um, they got new management, and the new manager, I guess, hated me and really wanted me gone for some reason, because it's exactly what he did. He stalled me out for over half a year trying to get one video project done, and I did it exactly the way they wanted. I had to keep going back and forth with everything they wanted eventually um, because of mistakes that they kept sending me and making me do stuff that wasn't on the invoice. Um, my original invoice, which is basically how much I need to charge them, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about for a contract deal, um, that obviously has to go up if they change what they asked for. And um, the guy refused to pay it, took the video I made for them, and now they won't talk to me anymore. So they, they straight up cheated me out of like uh, $480 is what they owe me right now, and they won't pay it. They won't talk to me anymore. So... I, those were my two positions, and that's what I did. So this whole year, I've had pretty much nothing. I, I've been going between trying to get video jobs, and they won't talk to me because they, they seriously, like, they robbed me. The darn small businesses who, like, don't care about the little man, um, which is ironic. And the uh, teaching jobs, which won't get anywhere because there's not enough students taking the classes. So... I've been, I know I'm trying to tell you the good news, right? I've been trying to find a better position for the longest time, and I've been applying, I don't know how many places a week, it's been ridiculous, um, but finally, I'm going to be working at a new place, which sounds great, um, the thing is their hours are really weird, and that's going to get into the bad news, but um, good news, I finally have something stable, I'm going to be able to go there, it's a full-time position, which is great, I need that, it pays half what I used to make, but whatever, it's a full-time position, even though it pays half of what I used to make. I know it, uh, that really stinks, but hey, I mean, full-time position, you're getting full-time benefits, and I mean, honestly, it's the ideal hours that I would want to personally work, but it's a real problem for you guys, and that's what I'm about to get to, so yeah, I'm going to be able to finally start applying for the mortgage and stuff for, like for the house, and I'd love to show you more of the house, but there's been so much I've been trying to do offline that it's been a pain. So either way, um, the hours, I'm kind of dancing around it. I'm going to be working with them basically for three 12-hour shifts, 12 and a half hour base, uh, actually. Um, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, um, which are the only three days that I try and stream with you guys. And um, in all honesty, since it's, you know, school's in right now, um, if I try and stream on any of the weekdays other than Friday, um, I'm getting, what, maybe a quarter of what I would normally be getting from people watching me? I don't make anything, really, from people watching. I just want to be there with the majority of you guys, and I know this is going to sound like bad news. Like, everyone's like, oh, great, I'm never going to be able to see any of his streams anymore. Maybe I didn't get a chance to before, now I won't see him at all. Um, so that's, that's what I'm stuck about, because... I'm not going to be able to do any streams with you guys um, from... It is starting tomorrow, honestly. I'm, I'm recording this a little late. But um, I, I've been meaning to tell you guys for a while now. I just don't want to scare anybody with like the job situation, how bad it really was, until 
um, things were looking up, and I finally got a position, which that is the good news. That is good. Things are going to be more stable. I mean, yeah, we're, the videos are going to be a little less frequent. I can guarantee, though, all of October and I'm working on November right now, all of October and November are going to have a video a day still. I might slow that down for December. I don't know. It depends. I'm, I'm also working on a lot more of review, sty review type stuff, like the Undertale video. Um, more things like that are coming up. The next one's actually on uh, Metroid Other M. I'm already working on it right now. But um, either way, that's, that's kind of worrying me. I, I want to know what you guys think about this. Like, should I move a different day for streaming or should I just not stream? Um, I, I don't know. It's, it's up to you. And um, but either way, if you guys like want to vote on what I do, if we decide you guys want to do streaming, uh, move on over to Twitter. I always let you guys vote on what to do. It's just a bummer because now I, I have no idea what to do anymore because of my schedule. I mean, I can't let go of the position, obviously. it's It's been too long that um, I haven't had anything that I need it. Plus, I'm gonna be able to need to, I'm gonna need the full-time position to apply for a mortgage for the house. You know, very important big boy things that I need to do that uh, I've been neglecting for, not neglecting, but um, putting aside for a very long time and not mentioning it on the channel at all. So that's a big problem. Other really bad news. Oh, jeez. Um, so, I've been getting some new Q Charm games in to do, as you can imagine, because um, the 50% off sale just went up. And um, just to reiterate, the whole reason that sale even happened was because I finally had um, gone through all the codes. I, I figured out exactly um, what codes to create to change what games, trainer ID and secret ID, into what combination to make what result. That took forever. It was so much work getting that done. And on top of the fact that I didn't have any jobs while I was doing it. Of course. So, like, that's why it cost what it did. And people say, like, oh, it only takes a second to make this. You just got to push a couple buttons. Yeah, if you have those codes. And they're really a pain in the butt to make. So, um, I had to iterate that because it's important. Because this new one that I just got in, um, I, I sent an email to um, this particular person explaining all of this. But it's it, it involves all of you, too. Um, to Ursula. I'm just gonna leave it at that. So, Ursula, I got your uh, copy of Pokemon Pearl. Um, I was looking at it like this, like, okay, that's a little funny. Like, hopefully it's not a counterfeit game or anything, right? Um, open it up. It, it looked okay. I looked at the game cartridge. I'm like, okay, no, looks okay. Checked out. Um, so, I start trying to work on this, and I, you know, put it in the action replay, which has to run in my super old DS, which is already finicky enough. Um, but for some reason, um, the game wouldn't take like the action replay knew it was Pearl and I had the code ready and it was I was trying to do it But for some reason every time I tried to boot the game from the action replay um, I heard like a pop and I got a white screen which you can see like a very faint after image on the top screen of the action replay logo So it never actually got past that um, I have no idea why I turned off all codes even I just tried to boot it from the AR and it still wouldn't do anything and that was really worrying me. So then I started taking um, other games of mine, even other pearls. I have working, well, one other pearl, one other working Q Charm game that actually I used that one to figure out the codes from to get the pearl working. So um, anyway, I, I used the other pearl and it was fine. Um, so I, it could boot from the air with no codes active. This one in particular couldn't. So I was thinking immediately, like I was saying before, this might be counterfeit. So then I start researching online, and I'm like, no, everything checks out. This, everything that would uh, point out that it is fake, it's real. Um, everything else, like about booting the game normally, because it does boot normally if I just put it in the DS or any of my other DSs, it plays, just not with the action replay put in. Um, also, I was like, okay, maybe it's not an American version, and unfortunately, it does say down in the corner, you can't read it from here, but it does say uh, it is a USA copy. So... This applied perfectly to what I asked for. In fact, I even booted up and uh, you even played to where I asked, where you have some Pokemon and you're ready to trade so I can just transfer that Jigglypuff over and test it. Perfect. That's exactly what I asked for. But for some reason, and I can't tell you why, unless there's some action replay fanatics out there who can tell me, because I, I honestly, I don't, I haven't ever used it other than doing this cute charm thing for you guys. And it's only because you guys have asked for it so much that I've even done it. Which is another thing. There's so many people who, like, were giving me hate, tons of hate, on the videos where I'm discounting the cute charm service 
saying like I'm a horrible person, like ripping off kids. I'm like, hold on. Everyone asked me to do this, okay? Did you not get that part? Like, aside from everyone asking so much, I made a tutorial video first, showing them how to do it themselves. They still ask, saying, I don't want to do that, I don't have an action replay, I don't want to buy one, I just want to send it to you and be done with it, which I understand that. And I reluctantly, over time, eventually started, okay, I'll fine, I'll do it for you. And that was what the service was. And since I had all the codes finally made, I could discount it heavily for everybody. So, um... That, I guess people don't even care to listen to that part of the story. They just want to, you know, accuse people of stuff that they don't even have all the information about anyway. Shows uh, what kind of generation we're in anyway. People don't pay attention. So anyway, big problem with this one. I was reading up online how to fix this with the action replay. And um, some stuff that I was reading through of tutorials on, uh, like, WikiHow or something like that. Um, I, I'm no longer going to trust anything I ever get from that site ever again. Because um, it basically put me through a series of... Um, like soft resetting it while it's open to refresh it and kind of reboot the action replay again. And all that did was delete all of my codes. All of them. And um, I don't have them back anywhere because, I mean, I wasn't expecting anything like that to happen. It certainly didn't say that at the top. When, at the top. It didn't give you any warning saying, oh, by the way, if you do this fix, it's going to delete everything. By the way, that fix didn't work it still won't boot so even at that if i started over and i had to because i do now i have to redo all of these basically the whole reason we have a sale is because i had those co those codes and now i don't i have none of the codes and now games are coming in and i have a job on top of doing this and i can't do them so i don't know what to do i sent an email to uh ursula if you're just now hearing about it now i'm sorry i sent you an email um but I don't know what I'm supposed to do, and um, I have, I don't know how many other games are coming in right now, um, but I mean, um, the thing is, I can't just send them all back and give them refunds because I have to pay to ship these back. This came from Australia. It was like $16 to send this, so um, I, I don't know. I don't know, and um, I, I've just been stuck with so much going on. Like I, I don't know about um, the job and streaming. I don't know about Q Charm. That's what's really scaring me because I lost all my work and it still didn't even fix this cartridge. There's something, I don't know, up with, like, are random Pokemon games just not going to work in the action replay? And if that's the case, how do I how do I tell people which kind to send me or, you know, how, what do I do for the people who've already paid for it and they're sending their games in? What if theirs work? What if, you know, even if it does work, I got to... I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll make them again. That's fine. I can do that. It's it's going to take me a while. I can, re like, reverse engineer some, which is what I was planning on doing. Um, I, the ones I have that I can reverse engineer and, like, make the code a lot faster are um, Heart Gold, um, I Pearl, and uh, Platinum. Because we have um, the, the Pearl that was donated that happened to have it, and I can reverse engineer that one. Um, and then there is Heart Gold and... Uh, platinum that I reset on my own in order to get the codes or the working IDs and everything for our, our series but um, it's uh, let me see diamond and soul silver if any of you guys if I've made a Q charm game for you that was or if you have one that is a uh, diamond or soul silver um, let me know what your trainer ID and secret ID are that will save me so much time seriously um, but either other way I mean I don't even know what to say anymore. I'm like, I, I feel so bad because I'm getting, I'm getting these in still and I can't do anything. Um, it, it's just this copy. I don't know what's wrong with this copy. I, maybe it's, uh, I was thinking maybe it's like a really good counterfeit because, um, fake games and also, um, foreign games will not boot from an action replay. And it's, it's not the action replay going bad because I have Pokemon Pearl that I can put in it, and it boots fine, and it recognizes this as the same game ID, Pokemon Pearl, and it won't boot. I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm making this because I, I just need to hear what you guys have to say about that, and um, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to respond to many of you guys because I'm going to be gone now for the weekend. Um, I mean, it's a good thing, but I, I'm going to get a million messages about why I'm not streaming, and I... I I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I'm sorry. I'm doing my absolute best. You know, at the very least, you sat through this for me uh, for this long. I I'm going to at least give you guys a little bit of, like, a spoiler of, like, some cool stuff coming in October. 
um, because, you know, we still got a long ways to go. Um, Tomorrow, the 13th, is going to be the last episode of Coliseum Randomizer. Awesome. It's a great one. I'm, I'm like, I'm, oh, it's so cool seeing who the final shadow is. Um, aside from that, we have uh, Metal Gear Solid 5 and Q-Charm episodes. They're going to be coming up on Sundays. Metal Gear Solid 5 is also on Mondays. That goes up for the rest of October as well as November. Um, Metroid Samus Returns is going to go all the way through its normal schedule until the 15th of November. That's when that one ends. Um, I did actually play that one in advance. I was so excited I had to. And I played uh, some Fusion Hard Mode with my Metroid Amiibo. And, um, oh my gosh, I got all the way to the final boss, and, um, I am just, like, contently putting it aside, because I'm like, I'm gonna get destroyed now. Um, but anyway, um, from there, we have Monster Hunter Arenas that are gonna carry on to the 21st of November. Um, I'm doing those with Matt from here on out. Um, and it's not a thing against So Hellcat if I didn't mention it, uh, enough in the series. It's because... We live on the other side of the planet, and it's really hard to schedule stuff with each other, if not record stuff at the same time, and share files, and his internet's horrible, and it's, you know, I'll try and do other stuff with him later if I can, but for now, we couldn't finish that series together. So I did it with Matt, which is cool. Um, after that point, we are still going to keep getting Monster Hunter stuff, and up till the release of Monster Hunter World, we're going to have another small spin-off series of Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate. And we're going to be fighting together all of, not Matt and I, but Kim and I, actually. We're going to be fighting all of the exclusive monsters to that game that you have not seen on my channel. That's basically the big reason or, like, deciding factor of who we fight and what we do. If they've been on my channel or not. So, MH3U, I'm sorry, MH4U or Generations. If they've been in either of those games, then, nope, we don't play them. Um, and that exactly, I, I did that because it's, it's the right amount of hunts to get us exactly to the release day. So, that's what I'm trying to do. Um, aside from that, um, Metroid's gonna end, and, um, I'm not sure what's gonna fill that space after that, honestly. I might actually leave that open and kind of move my schedule around to make it a little lenient, so I can do more review-type videos for you, because I love doing those, and I'd love to do more. Um, after Coliseum Randomizer, we do have another Pokemon series starting after that. It's not another Randomizer, though. I don't know when I'm... I ha as of now, I have no plans of doing another Randomizer. Maybe eventually I will, but right now, there's just too many other things going on right now, I just can't. And, um, also, I'm kind of burnt out of doing it right now. I'm like, I played four Pokemon Randomizers. Sure, I loved them, but I played four of them. You know, I want to play other games. So, you know, it's, I want to try other stuff just, just for a while at least until I get that Pokemon Randomizer urge back in me and I, I can't help myself. But either way, starting on, uh, on the new Fridays slot, instead of Coliseum Randomizer, Kim and I together are doing a new series of Pokemon Collections. Eventually, it may not always be Pokemon. Um, we might do anything. Who knows? But it's just collections in general. But I can tell you for sure, the first, like, seven are Pokemon. And um, it's all sorts of stuff that uh, mostly Kim has had from uh, a long time of collections. And it's really cool. Um, so I hope you guys like that, you know, for a new um, collection series. It's, um, they're a lot of fun to make. Kim loves making them, too. So Kim is actually going to show up on my channel now for two, more, two new series. Which is a lot of fun. I know um, you guys have been saying like you wanted to see uh, Kim more in these, but other than that, um, that's where I'm at. Um, geez, I, I was feeling sick the other day, and I was like shiny hunting uh, Tychnol offline. Like I never do that, and I got him up to nine thousand, and he's still not shiny. And I was like, oh my gosh. So Tychnol's still not shiny. I don't know. Just nothing seems to be going right, other than the fact that I have a job with a big asterisk. That's leaning on and impeding everything that I do here on the channel. Not everything, but... I don't know. I knew, I knew it was going to be a problem, but, I mean, to be fair, I would prefer to have a job where I go there and I just spend the whole day there, you know? Like, I don't want to go there for, like, four hours and come home like I know some people do with their jobs. I, I can't stand that. Um, because I feel like if I'm going to work, I just want to spend the entire day doing that one thing. It's what I do on YouTube. It's what I want to do there. So, I mean, hey, that does give me four other days, you know, that I can spend doing other stuff, so... Eh? Eh? Is it worth streaming in the middle of one of them? Maybe? Maybe, like, Wednesday nights? I, you know, because clearly not Thursday nights, and I'm like, what would be a better day? I don't know. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. But either way, that is all the news I have for you guys for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to like the videos and subscribe for more, and I will see you all in the next video. Boo!